Hello and welcome to yet another video by Longshot AI. Now this one is a very special video because we recently launched our Longshot Chrome plugin as you can see on the screen and in this video I'll be talking about how you can get started with the plugin, the different features and how to use those features and this is going to be a very special one so hold tight and let's get started. So as you can see, we are on the Longshot Chrome Web Store page and uh, the very first thing we do is we add the plugin, the extension to our Chrome page. So I've, as you can see, it's been added. So now what you do is you just open the extensions and you can pin it up. So as you can see, it's been pinned and the very first thing you do is you click on the icon, open the pop-up and as you can see, it asks you to authenticate. So when you click on the button, it will take you to Longshot's account profile page. All you have to do now is authenticate the plugin. So as you can see, it's showing that the pl plugin has been activated successfully. And now all you have to do is use the plugin. Okay, so now that a plugin is activated, uh, let me confirm, just click on it. So though it shows that the plugin is still not compatible with the extension, that is not true. It takes a few seconds to get triggered. Let me close it again and let's check again. So as you can see, it is now enabled. It looks very good. Nothing to worry about. It's just that uh, it takes a few seconds to get triggered. So even if you're on some other website, just, just take a few seconds. So uh, now let's head over to this, this Wikipedia page about the Lord of the Rings and uh, you can check over here. You can see that it's activated. So all you have to do is uh, check out the features. Now the first feature in the list is let me select any any of these paragraphs. Let's look at this one. Okay, so when you select the text, you see this icon appear. Just click on the icon and you can see these four features available to you. So the very first one is zoom in text, a feature which helps you expand content. So all you have to do is place the cursor between any two sentences or words and uh, the AI generates content. Uh, without losing any context. So uh, as you can see, I've selected the text. Let me click on zoom in text. Now what you have to do is uh, let me say, let's place the cursor over here and let's click on the zoom in feature. Now, as you can see, the AI is inserting the text. It will read the context above and below the line so that there is no break in the consistency of the content. So uh, let's see as the fellowship breaks, Aragorn and Gimli set off in. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. So here's a pro tip. If you want to copy, you can copy and you can paste it. So in my experience, I found that this, uh, this feature works pretty well if you're trying to update your content or even if you want to generate content within your blog. Maybe you've written some old content and if you wish to just freshen it up maybe you can use it over there now heading over to the next feature let me go a bit uh, so let's check out this paragraph so the last one was the zoom in text this one is the zoom out text which is basically a feature which summarizes the content so click on the feature and uh, this is your content just you can click on show input and it'll show you the selected text and you can click on zoom out text. So what will happen is it will read the content and it will generate a summary for you. So you could compare it with the original selected text. And this is your zoom out text. This is a pretty handy feature. You can use it on, a, let's say, any blog you are, you are reading about or maybe even some uh, ebook or something. You can simply select the text and uh, watch the AI generate a summary for the same. A pretty handy feature. Okay, now let me head over to some, let's say, what if we go to some other website? Let me search for Taj Mahal. Um, let's look at Taj Mahal's Wikipedia page. This app works almost on any website, so you can check it out. Uh, but uh, I'm checking on the Wikipedia page. So again, uh, as you can see, this is page for Taj Mahal. Uh, I cannot see any icon. Just give it a second. Let me check it again. It's active. Okay. As I mentioned, right, it takes a few seconds. 
So here's a, here's the text. We've looked at zoom in text. We've looked at zoom out text. Now let's look at the long rephraser. And now this feature basically rephrases up to 500 words in one go. So that's a very cool feature. All you have to do is select at least 100 words for this feature to work. So you can uh, rephrase it formally or maybe if you want to generate a result which is casual. So you can do that. Again, you can show the input. This is the input we have given. Let's generate a formal uh, rephrased text. And let's see what the AI comes up with. Okay. So as you can see, it has taken into consideration these citations as well. The best way to compare is like if I copy the whole thing and I can paste it and then we can check. And this was about the rephrase feature. Okay, now coming to the final feature, which is the change tone feature. Now, as the name suggests, this feature is used to customize the tone for your content. And all you have to do is again, select the text and click on this icon, click on the change tone feature. This is your input text. As you can see, when you click on show input, this line gets highlighted. So all you have to do is put in your tone, which you'd like the AI to write about. So you can choose from these three, salesman, polite, or angry, or you can put in your own. Since this is a pretty general statement, let me, let me put in the salesman tone. But the thing with the change tone feature is that sometimes you might not get the best results. And that's because when something is not broken, there's no point fixing it. So if a sentence sounds good, then there's no point fixing it. So as you can see, the tone is a central focus of the entire which is a mausoleum. Okay, that's a salesman tone. Pretty, pretty good. So, okay, now let's go to the next feature. Let, let me give you another example. We have Lionel Messi over here, who is considered one of the greatest players of the beautiful game. Let's check out World Cup and Copa America finals. Okay. Let's choose this sentence. I've selected it. Okay, give it a few seconds. It is active, wasn't triggered, but everything's fine. Just select the text, put in the change to one feature. Then let's, uh, let's go for a little bit of optimism because what is football without some hope? Okay, pretty good result. So we put in the optimistic tone and what the AI has done, it's changed the whole content in a, and brought it in a more optimistic tone with the final line. But he has still not given up hope of winning a major trophy with his country. Pretty good result. And I guess that is pretty much all about all these features. If you wish to start using these features, all you have to do is visit the Chrome Web Store. Just search for Longshot AI and you'll find this page. Just add plugin to your Chrome and authenticate it and start using it. It's that simple. And that I believe is pretty much all about the video. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and take care.